We have races defenseman here, Martin Simpson. Martin, uh, well, congratulations, first of all, but a uh, bit of a crazy game, wasn't it, with uh, comebacks and leads changing and everything? Yeah, thanks very much, but uh, that's, they're a really good side. They've got, we've got to take control when we can. Uh, they come out starting most of the game really well, done really well to get the leads back, but we kept fighting, we just kept pushing and kept our ways going. Um, would it be fair to say that perhaps for the casual observer that the races were the underdogs coming into this tournament? Yeah, I think so, especially after last season they didn't make the semi-finals or didn't really do too well in the, this cup, but this year we've proven a, a lot of points that we can play in the higher level, we're not just some SNL team that aren't good enough for any other hockey, we've proven that we could be up here and challenge other teams. Yeah, I, t I totally agree with that. Um, I think beating both Solway and Whitley twice this season has kind of proved that. Do you think naturally the races should be in NIHL North on a full-time basis? Yeah, I think so. A lot of the boys want it. Everyone's wanting to play a better hockey, so I think being at that level, we can, we can manage it without a doubt. We've proven that in the last couple of games we've played. Like I said, Whitley are a really good side and we've beat them twice. We've been beat twice, but that's what happens there. Well, believe it or not, Whitley hadn't lost a game in between playing the races twice in Murrayfield. So, I mean, that tells its own story, perhaps, that, you know, ju well, just how strong a team that yeah. the races are. Yeah, well, I didn't want to mention that. I, I heard there were 16 games unbeaten. We've broke that streak, but I, we're, as a team, we're proud to do that. It's been a big, big challenge this final, and we've just proven it ourselves a lot. Yeah, I think amongst them, 16 games, we'll play in Billingham and Nottingham a lot, which isn't really opposition, but... Uh, Let's not take anything away. I think that what you guys have done this weekend has proved that you belong to be playing against these teams week in, week out. And uh, the cup that you're holding there is uh, is proof of that. Yeah, it just proves that we can do it. And a lot of the players out there, are they're happy to go that level. Everyone's ready for it. Coming into this weekend, did you kind of see that as like a, a mini test of sorts? Yeah, it was, a, well, it was a massive test to prove ourselves and show that we can like participate at that level so a lot of our game was showing what we've got and what we can do and not focusing on what the other teams are doing but like you said beating Solway we've done it played our game these two games this weekend we've played our game and kept it going got the win now looking ahead to the end of the season uh, it's still possible to win the league title isn't it in the SNL no uh, so so we won that last night so we've still got playoffs and we've got Scottish Cup to go but confident that we're going to do really well in that so, uh, well, ironically enough, both races and Warriors could end up with uh, three trophies this season. <laughs> yeah, that was good, though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And once again, congratulations. And, uh, well, I hope to see you back here next season on uh, a more regular basis. Yeah, well, thank you very much.